All right, problem two, we have that a snail is travel, traveling along a straight path and its velocity can be modeled by V of t equal to 1.4 the 1.4 times the natural log of one plus t squared inches per minute for t between zero and 15 minutes. Part A, we have to find the acceleration of the snail at time t equals five minutes. Okay, so let's remember that acceleration is the derivative of velocity. So you're essentially just finding V prime of five. So you're gonna just take the derivative of this equation and then evaluate it for five. Since this is a calculator problem, make sure you make good use of your calculator because um, it's gonna save you a lot of time. So we're just you know, doing that. We're gonna get approximately about 0.538. Four six one five three eight four six two inches per minute squared. I always like just writing out the whole thing because you never know. Sometimes they want you to round. Some they always say hundred digits, or I mean thousand digits. But I just go as far as I can just to make sure there's no um, issues with that. All right, part B. What's the displacement of the snail over the interval from zero to fifteen minutes? Okay, so displacement can be found by integrating the velocity. Because when you integrate velocity, you're gonna get a position. And remember, displacement is essentially the change in position. So if we integrate the velocity function from zero to 15, that'll give us the displacement. And again, using your calculator, um, there's usually going to be a, a straight up calculus section. Um, I like to use the inspire, but if you go to the calculus function, you can find the numer numerical integral from zero to 15. I think I just did it here, uh, this one too, to save you guys some time. We got about 76.043. Right, part C. At what time t does the snail's instantaneous velocity equal its average velocity over the interval from zero to 15? Okay, so let's remember that average velocity, if you had, um, if you remember this chapter from calculus, or we, you will say average y value, that'll be equal to one over b minus a times the integral from a to b of the function. In this case, we're talking about from 15 to zero. So we're gonna have one over 15 times, or one over 15 minus zero times the integral of v of t from zero to 15. We, re, we just got the value of 76.04 for V of T. So then we just multiply that or divide it by 15. And now that'll give us 5.06. Now we have to see when this is equal to the instantaneous velocity. And the instantaneous velocity is just the v of t function. So we want to see when is this equal to v of t. So what I what I do is just graph both of them. So I graph both. This is our natural. This is the um, v of t, the blue is the v of t function, and the red line is just this equation, the five point oh six. And then I look for the point of intersection. Let me go back and just show you. Oh, wait, no, no, I don't want to delete everything. You can see the point of intersection there and here. If we were to analyze the graph, 
there's um, an, an intersection function you can do. But you can see I already found it. It's um, 6.03-ish right over there. So they're going to intersect at about 2, or they're going to be equal at about 6.03. 6.03 minutes. All right, the last part we have that the ant, an ant arrives at the snail's starting position at 12 minutes and follows the snail's path. During the interval from 12 to 15, the ant travels in the same direction as the snail with a constant acceleration of two minutes per minute. The ant catches up to the snail at time t equals 15 minutes. The ant's, velo the ant's velocity at t equals 12 is b inches per minute per minute. Find the value of b. Okay, so this is a one. This is one that can be a little confusing um, because you really have to know your physics and you have to know your calculus. You have to know how you have to really have to understand how velocity, acceleration, and position are related in terms of not only their physics applications, but just their calculus integrals. So we have that A of T is equal to two. If we were to integrate this, this leads to V of T being then equal to two T plus some constant, let's call it C1. Now, if you were to integrate V of T, you would get the position function then to be equal to 2T squared over two, those twos cancel, plus C, plus C1 times T plus C2. So using our knowledge um, of how do we integrate one to get the, to the next, we wanna first, find an equation that we need to solve to give us the value of b. So when you integrate, let's see, let's see. So find the value of b. So if you integrate acceleration remember that gives you velocity. When you integrate velocity, that gives you position. Or I shouldn't write it like this. I should just write it without the integral. Um, I think I just said, I just told you it verbally, so I won't waste your time with more explanation. So let me just show you what you gotta do. So we set up an equation where we're gonna have the position function equal to what we found in the previous section of 76.04. So setting up the integral of velocity, 2t plus c1 from 12 to 15, dt, that's gonna give us the 76.04. Now remember, when you integrate this, you're gonna get this equation. So what we're essentially doing is evaluating this t squared plus c1t plus c2 minus t squared plus c1t plus c2. This is what's going to be equal to 76.04. For this side, we're gonna plug in t equals 15. And here we're gonna plug in t equals 12. Because remember, when you do this, when you evaluate this, what you're gonna get is the position function, s of t, where you're gonna evaluate it from 12 to 15. So then we just do the math with this. So right away, the c2s cancel. We're gonna get 225 plus 15 C1 minus 144 minus 12 C1 
equal to 76.04. Solving for C1, we're gonna get negative 1.653. Now plugging this into our position, our velocity function right there. We'll get that our velocity function is equal to 2t minus 1.653. Now, it says the ants, the ants velocity at time t equals 12 is b inches per minute. So then b will just be equal to v of 12 when you plug in 12 into this equation. And that will just be then 2 times 12 minus 1.653, which will give us about 22.34. inches per minute. Yeah, so this one's a tough one. Um, it, it, it was the lowest scoring um, free response part on this exam. So don't feel, feel or be too hard on yourself if you um, have difficulty with it because yeah, it's, um, it's a tough one. So um, yeah, so that's it for that problem. I hope that helps. Um, feedback is always helpful. Let me know if maybe I could improve anything that was confusing. Leave me a comment, you know, describing. Um, and if you found it useful and helpful, please give me a like and make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.